Hi everyone, bonjour tout le monde. Des ovnis au-dessus de la maison, puis ferré, bre. We're looking at UFOs over the house. This one, so close, it was amazing. Look, it looks like the size of the sun coming down to the house. It's basically what I'm seeing. An amazing video, a uh, very quick and direct uh, video, this one, but a very good one that's going to show proof of many things. First, interaction with UFOs. Then we're going to go see other beautiful things, plus directional changes with the UFO as I follow it through the constellation for enough to see a complete um, directional change from going upwards to completely downwards. When I left the house to go see in a dark area, they were very different, the way they interacted and uh, the feedback I got from these lights. And at home, I don't know if it's obviously they're not going to flash into a community so others will see it, but being away from home really did give me uh, an easier way of being able to see a lot of flashes of light. Did not yet bring the camera to do so, and I will very soon. Check this out. This is a large UFO that I'm following very close, and we see that another light is approaching it. Another UFO. So we can see it go very close to it. It'll actually look like it's touching it. Obviously, they're just maybe crossing paths, but nonetheless, I believe they're close by. We're just examining raw truth, right? We're just looking. Just let your eyes tell you what you're looking at. I have no proof of anything, but I'm showing um, you guys what I'm finding. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing and interesting for me to be able to see these um, events happen because say to yourself the naked eye is not seeing this so when you're looking up in the sky you are seeing flashes but you're not seeing these flashes with the infrared camera yeah. you could really pick them up now this thing is close no those aren't satellites and I'm gonna conf confirm it. it absolutely impossible at that height and never in the same direction. They're going all over the place. When I go out, there's one there. Remember, those saying that these are all satellites, they're all at the same height, the satellites, most of them, and look at the different uh, distances that we're seeing these from. They're doing each different things, each of them. As I'm filming this UFO, another UFO flies by. Watch this spectacular astronomical event. What looks like a UFO igniting and becoming a sphere 
then going back out again as it crosses paths with the other UFO. By really examining, um, of course, there's luck in this, right? Um, we get some nice views of some of these objects. The UFOs, unidentified flying object is something that's not recognized. And this is what this is. But it does, looking at the characteristics, look like something out of control, spiraling, um, you know, oblique shape, sort of out of form going by. This, the surface of the moon, also lights that are found there. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video the most amazing proof of directional change. It's raw, straight up proof with the infrared camera, very clearly seen. I was following a UFO as it was spiraling, spiraling, sorry, up and downwards through the constellation. And we're going to have some fun with that. So let's check it out through song so you can remember. Here it is. We go up now. We go down. We go up now. We go down now. By analyzing the characteristics, look, it doesn't happen often, but the proof is here. We see a directional change. It's beautiful, by the way. One hell of a directional change, right? Wow. Into the constellation, back down as it's zipping through space. And this is exactly in real time. So no plane does that. No asteroid does that. No comet does that. It's not on a straight path. We have proof of directional changes with raw, clear footage, no filtering. Infrared. All right, family photo, everyone say cheese. Thank you for liking this video and taking the time to subscribe and sharing it on other platforms.
Houston, say again, please. <laughs>